go check yourself. In 99.9 .9 of the cases, you're blaming other people in your own lackings, in your own defaults. That's what you do. When you see a lacking in someone else and you go and you rebuke him and you're talking about him, and you think negative on him and you say bad things on him, look at the mirror. You're talking about yourself. I'm going to ask you now. And I'm ready to do tshuva with you now, live on Facebook. Not afraid. You want to say that Hashem is cruel? Okay, let's see that you're not cruel. Can you talk about Hashem's cruelty? Check yourself. Maybe you're also very, very cruel. Okay, you say Hashem Ibrahim, he doesn't give money, he's cheap. Okay, check yourself. Are you so generous that now you can talk about Hashem? I'm not sure. What that I am sure is that in that moment that you're really going to fix yourself completely, you're going to bring redemption. You're going to bring Mashiach. When you will clean yourself completely to be 100% clean, that will be the moment, that will be the time that Mashiach will reveal himself in the world. It depends on you. But when you are not clean, you cannot talk. And it doesn't mean that you're not allowed to talk. Just you need to aim your words to the right directions. You must talk about yourself. You must do tshuva. You must focus in your part on how to clean the world from your place. How to clean your mind, how to clean your brain, how to fix your soul, how to bring yourself to that place that you will make other people happy. And then after you did that, after that you opened that channel, that you opened that connection for people to find Hashem Barach in their lives, in that moment you can go and claim and argue with Hashem and start demand from Hashem and tell Hashem Barach what you want. And then Ratzoni Ravia said, then Hashem will follow your will. But only after that you clean yourself. Shot at tefillah, you need to fake tefillah, you must fix yourself, first of all. You must clean yourself. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.